My name's Oliver Beer, I'm an artist, but I've been working always with music as well. And so this installation for Bloomberg is a sound installation that carries with it 2,000 years of material history through British object making. And it also expresses something very universal, which is the relationship between form and harmony. The show's called Albion Waves, and Albion is the Roman word for Britain. It means white, it's when they saw the white cliffs of Dover when they arrived. Waves, because I'm working with sound waves, but I'm also thinking about the cultural waves and the waves of influence that have affected British object making over the last 2,000 years. All these vessels that you can see behind me are vessels that I've collected with the help of my family, friends, historians, to try and create this perfect acoustic portrait of Britain. I started to think about this site, this Roman temple, this Mithraeum, that's right underneath us. They found 14,000 objects here when they dug up the building site. And there was this invitation to kind of respond to this very dense, layered historical site. I tried to kind of create a cross-section of vessels and objects that have been made in the UK over the last 2,000 years. And that ranges from Roman vessels to medieval jugs to 20th and 21st century contemporary vessels as well. And every vessel has got a microphone inside it. When you walk up to the vessel, there's a motion sensor that just turns on the microphone and you can hear the inside of the vessel amplified for the first time. So I'm actually not creating any sound at all. I'm just revealing the sound that's already inside the vessel. If you just imagine how when you listen to a seashell, it's in completely inanimate and yet you can still hear sound coming from it. And a vessel is exactly the same. It has this geometry. And so all of the ambient sound around it, when it comes inside, gets filtered through the notes that fit inside that vessel. The relationship between this installation and the paintings is absolute. Like, the sounds that are made from the vessels have made the paintings. They're called resonance paintings. And I make them by placing the canvas horizontally in my studio. And I put a speaker underneath. And I've played the sound of the vessels through the canvas. And so what you're seeing on the walls is actually what's happening in the air all around you when you hear the vibrations coming from the vessels. You very quickly start seeing the, the history of abstract painting appearing through sound. Like you can see it's actually possible to make a kind of acoustic Rothko and an acoustic Frank Stella or Agnes Martin with her amazing grids or Bridget Riley. It's almost as if these forms are somehow coded into us already and that in some way painting has already been expressing that even when it's painted with your hands, you know. The blue colour started with a blue and white pot that my grandma left me and I started thinking about how that white and blue had reached me and of course it's through years of commerce and trade, the British Empire, Portuguese, Dutch, all bringing it from Japan, from Korea, from China, but if you follow it all the way back you get to present-day Iran, where that cobalt oxide was first reacted and first made into that blue and white colour. I've always been able to work at the intersection of music and visual art and film. For me, there is a, a real continuity. The relationship between form and music isn't esoteric, it's completely fundamental to the way that we experience the world.